Hi Scorpio, this is Shah. Sorry I'm a little bit late with the video, but I am really, really busy. And um, this reading is different. I know it's three cards, but I really go into them. And, you know, I'll read some out of the book. And I will also let my feelings or my intuition work on them. Um, I'm using the cards all by Collet. Uh, Baron Reed. I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle deck and I'm using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms and I'm using the new deck. And this is the deck that I've bought uh, from the donations of the Super Chats. And I just am so excited and happy. Thank you for everybody that gives me donations uh, in Super Chats and Super Stickers. So uh, you've not only got the picture, which says a thousand words, that's what the saying is, but it's quite true, and also you've got numerology and you've got the quotes on them. So that is where I'm going to get the messages from as well. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. If you would like a one on one con uh, reading or an extended reading then please look um, at the information below the video in the description box or click on the little dot in the in the here in the corner. Okay I don't know whether it's left or right because uh, I think it might turn around uh, once I've uploaded it. So have a look in the one of the corners. I think it's top right hand corner. Okay, so let's get started. And the first card, you, um, welcome to my Cyber Angels, of course. I uh, thank you very much for being so loyal and supportive. Okay, here we go. You've got the antelope. And the antelope is known as a very, very fast animal. He's just like the um, oh, what was it? not a, a tiger, um, the leopard. They're one of the fastest animals as well. And it says life is speeding up. Thank goodness it is. The lockdown uh, is easing up. Thank goodness. Everybody was getting stressed and bored and depressed um, as they felt imprisoned. But now we are free and you've got number two like you can see and two means you are in balance Scorpio the last couple of weeks your readings have been really positive I hope you've looked at your seven month forecast as I've made an update the oracle message from the antelope, spi uh, antelope spirit rushes into your life you are being reminded of a quickening of your personal evo evolution. As a, a powerful co-creator, you are being told unequivocally that it's time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams real. There is an intensity you can feel and it is important to take advantage so the intensity might not be stress after all Scorpio take note of that you had this feeling you wanted to get things done and organized so that was not the stress it was just the frustration it was inten the intensity okay so take advantage of it now when um, the lockdown is easing up in your place so take advantage of this energy right now. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to step it up. If you're asking about a relationship, make the first move. Well, um, what I was just before, it said like uh, step, step up. I got the word in my head. Um, the early worm uh, the early bird catches the first worm so if you are going after an investment or a, a house or a job then be the first one don't wait 
it's quite significant that I get a message uh, through from the angels or and the spirit and guides that the early bird catches the first worm. Just know that the intentions you have set in motion are coming together now at the warp speed. So it's going to come back very very fast. It's not going to rain, it's going to pour. You're going to be really busy. So also take your rest, okay? Stay alert and keep up. Things are getting interesting when antelope spirits calls you to move quickly. The protecting message of the um, antelope spirit is do you feel how fast the world is changing like everything is moving at a warp speed <coughs> that's the speed of lightning lighting it's hard to control desired outcomes or set fixed goals because by the time you get there you will actually have moved beyond it now is the time to let go and enjoy the exhilarating ride as intentions you <coughs> have set in motion is the past in the past are coming into form with lightning speed your job is to stay on course even if the pace feels dizzying you may find you will change your mind a half dozen times or more as you improve your offerings and that is just fine make peace with the pace for if you ride this quicken quickening energy you will solve challenges quickly and effortlessly instead of being bogged down the best way to use this energy is to let go of worry and stay mindfully present as you continue to take action also if something is not going to be in your best interest no matter how badly you want it antelope will quickly remove it so you can move toward what is truly meant for you if you s if something is taken away be grateful and keep moving this is not the time to sit still but to breathe deeply as you move forward with velocity wow so pay attention take time out take breaks otherwise you'll warn yourself out excuse me sorry I had a sneeze but you don't want that down your ear <laughs> sorry okay so now we're going on to the hidden realm card and that is a beautiful card it's number 14 so 1 and 4 is 5 so you might not be quite in balance but you've got the hungry ghosts and you know you are hungry to get started I, I reckon most of you are okay obsession scarcity consciousness and attachment those are the words that are of essence in this card I don't know whether you can see but it is fairies sitting on pedestals and they're looking up to the light A bit dreamy card when and uh, this card when it is an ally when the hungry ghosts appear on your path they may not at first seem like allies because they represent your constant focus on the past so it's a lot like the six of cups don't focus on the past you can't change the past you can only change the present and the future and the consuming desire to know the future which rob you or of your true present but in fact they are here in the service of alerting you to, obse to obsessive thinking and addictions they are masters at magnifying 
repetitive behaviors. So don't be too obsessed with thinking about things. Don't be too much in your head. The message for you to examine whether you're doing the same thing over and over again while expecting a different result. This time will be different and I have con I have control over this. Our false statements and signing sign a deep denial of the truth. Now is the time to let go of the thinking. Surrender your will, your life, your heart's desires and all that pains you to the divine. Order will be restored in your world. The hungry ghosts are bringing understanding about the distractions of life that seduce you into forgetting what you really desire. You are asking you they are asking you to become aware that what others want and what the culture culture dictates will make you happy may not be what's best for you. So don't listen to other people's opinions and you know follow the rules but you don't have to follow uh, traditions or cultures just so you can fit in no just be yourself that's the message here but stay lawfully stay on the right path don't get caught up in outside appearances or other people's dramas that's what I'm saying in outside appearances all that glitters may not be gold at least not for you look beyond that veneer and you will find the true substance in your life you deserve nothing less so <coughs> in other words don't believe everything other people tell you or expect you to do hypothetically speaking if somebody says well you should do that uh, invest in that buy a house perhaps it's not right for you because it's not the right moment for you to buy a house perhaps you have another priority or another dream like getting married and buying that wedding dress or buying that car just stay true to your own ideas and feelings when the card is a challenger when it challenges you when the hungry ghosts come to challenge you it's a sign that you've succumbed to the fear of lack which is whispering in your ear that you fail whether it is you it is you have intended you've stayed too long in the desiring stage longing and yearning have become your constant state of mind procrastination don't procrastinate if you have an idea get the right information do the right research so that you can put your idea into materialism to actually be alive come alive you will know whether it's good for you or not so keep on going take action because things are going to happen very quickly now there's a lot happening with the antelope so don't stagnate are you comparing your experiences with others do you envy their success do you judge yourself on only on your material accomplishments that's not the right thing to do Scorpio are you afraid that there will be never be enough of anything and none of your dreams will be there upon awakening in reality perhaps you've turned to a, comp uh, a compulsive eating shopping working or drinking to distract yourself let go of the illusion of lack and accept things as they are perfect abundant meaningful expressions of the divine there will be never there will never be enough for the hungry ghosts that challenge you for 
the only experience they know is scarcity it's not your job to feed them they will lose their power to haunt you trust in abundance and spirit so you can only feed the hungry ghosts those are really the voices in your head if you keep on fearing and not believing that you're good enough or that you can't do it or that you haven't got enough it will all come in due time so long you take action and don't procrastinate keep on moving wow so come out of your head get the information do the research take action then you'll come in balance okay okay now you have um, e clues e claws I don't know how to say it it's a sort of blue stone and you see a uh, spirit face here that's the spirit stone it's like a man with a beard so that might resonate with you you might know a man with a beard <coughs> excuse me spoke too much yesterday so it's a bluish stone you can look it up in Google Uclaws and then print it off and you can carry it with you so to get the energy of the stone the spirit stone and it's number 23 again a 5 <coughs> so you've got two fives okay so the two fives will become a ten so that is a beginning so um, you've got a two so you will be in balance if you um, take what you can use from this reading essential meaning of Ocles or Uclus wisdom from within inner truth aligning with the divine intelligence trusting your own earned wisdom when you are distracted by all the noise and stimulation that are part of our lives now it can be hard to trust that you have what it takes to make wise choices the appearances of a close spirit is a sign that valuable insights can be found through trap, uh, tapping into your intuitive intelligence. When it comes to knowing the truth, there is no substitute for lived experience that has been recalled and examined through a process of alchemy your experiences have generated wisdom that can guide you when you feel lost or confused you know more than you think trust your inner wisdom for it is guided by the conscious universe you are learning that fear can distort your intuitive intelligence so release any worry and tune in within that means meditation, contemplation and evaluation. Go to your sacred place or your place where you like to relax, whether it's outside or inside. Just go there five minutes a day or ten minutes, five in the morning and five in the evening and you will feel rejuvenated and you will get answers. Write them down. You have a vast library of knowledge. You're just a walking Wikipedia, that's all. You have a, a vast library of knowledge available to you and wise and loving guidance that will help you. Now this is the bit for the relationships. This is advice and the meaning of the stone relationship message this could be a partnership in business a relationship in business or a relationship in love or just a general friendship relationship understanding people you love and care about isn't always easy 
especially when they become aware that you still have much to learn about yourself. All of us have hidden gifts we have yet to acknowledge. They are easier to discover when you look through the eyes of love. Guided by an inner wisdom that reminds you that we are all on a healing journey and at different places on the road. Listen to your intuitive intelligence about your relationships, for it is the conscious universe and not wishful thinking that will bring truth about other people and about yourself into awareness. Yes, yes. Mm. So listen when you sit quietly and meditate or contemplate sit quietly and listen to what comes up in your head as an idea write it down that idea could be like you know he loves me or I would like to do something uh, surprise him how would he react or she what can I do to show that I love them I care about them especially now that we have to have distance <coughs> So learn from the past. That's what I always say when I get the Five of Cups. Learn from the past or the scythe. You have gained knowledge and life experience, so use it and pass it on to others. But use it wisely. Now we've also got a prosperity message. Lessons of the past can guide the future. I didn't even read that and I just said you can learn from the past you can't change the past but you can change the present and the future and proven track records have value when it comes to building wealth and maintaining prosperity but no nest egg is rock solid no investment is a sure thing and the flow of money can be unpredictable at times Uruguay Spirit is here to remind you to listen to your inner wisdom when considering where you in should invest your energy and attention. If it feels wrong for you, it is probably is. If an opportunity for generating wealth makes you nervous, explore that feeling. The truth is that until you let go of the old beliefs about how you can't be trusted to co-create what you need and that prosperity is for others but not for you. You will feel uncomfortable when good opportunities and resources show up. So what is you don't think negative, think positive, think I can make it, I can do this. I'm like a magnet so people will listen to me what I have to say and what I can do don't doubt yourself because you're you're putting the negative energy out there into the universe and so you will attract ne negative energy okay and the world is changing they were not working in the old-fashioned way anymore we're, m we're working more with the computer and digit digitally so if you ask advice from an older generation they'll say it won't work so seek others that have done it and get the information from them and see how they did it then the resources will show up get in touch with your inner wisdom and you will cease to be distracted by fears that tempted tempt you to say no I can't when actually you can you really can your wisdom can guide you on returning to the natural state of abundance you long to find yourself in okay now for example there is a good example Scorpio N uh, a lot of people have been doing these multi-level marketing and networking 
and there's a lot of businesses out there uh, that are here for three months, six months, and then they have taken everybody's money, and that's why there's a lot of skeptical things happening. But there's uh, there are people that are pure, and they are working for um, in the good of others. And if you want more information about that um, and how to do that, I can uh, bring you into contact with other people because that is one of the level um, multi-level marketing uh, that is working. I've seen it, and that's crowd one. Okay, so mm, I'm just saying that are things working, but you have to talk to people that have been there, done that, and they can tell you and show you how. And you have to uh, also see whether a company is working according to the rules and regu regulations of the law. And I can understand and relate to anybody that doubts their intuition. Sometimes I think, oh, somebody says, I would like you to meet so-and-so, and then I say, no, 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 I don't want to meet anybody, I'm too busy. But then I say, okay, because they say, I need your advice on something. What do you feel with this person? And I don't like to judge people, but I've done it once or twice, and usually I'm right. And, uh, you know, I'm only human, but uh, when I don't get a correct feeling from somebody, you can ask a certain question, and it all depends how they answer it, wh how they use, what words they use, the intonation, do they look you in the eye, um, what is their history. Then you can more or less uh, get a confirmation that your feeling is right. You have to also give somebody else the opportunity, okay? <coughs> Not only yourself. So if you are in a relationship, and I'm going back to the relationship, then learn from the past. Don't doubt it. You can change. You can change a, a friendship or a relationship. And you can use your wisdom. You can also n know that if the last time you didn't communicate with somebody about what was wrong or was what was niggling in you, or you felt that something was wrong with them, that you didn't that you didn't ask them. Ask somebody. And then you learn, then you get to know how to handle. Okay? That's the message. If if you doubt your intuitiveness, your gut feeling, or the ideas that you're getting in your head, then ask. Don't be shy. And if you can't do it, then ask somebody else's help. Okay? Well, I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. There's a lot of things that you can take out of this reading that you can use in practicality everyday life now like i said you can't change the past you can only change the present yourself and the future so you can ma build a stronger future for yourself i hope you've liked this reading take care and stay safe and please give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends thank you